Hello guys, welcome to MG Computer Learnings. Today I am going to show you how to create a simple ID card which can be used in schools and you can even use for your staff in your company. So the format will goes like this. You have to go to the insert tab. I will just go to the shapes and I will use rectangle shape. Yes, fine. This is my rectangle shape. I'll go to the format shape, shape fill. I'll do it here, no fill. And I'll go to the shape outline as red color or black color, sorry. So after that, I'll go once again to the insert tab, shapes. I'll get our shapes. I'll rotate it. Okay, fine. So after rotating, I'll adjust it. Let me make a little bit more fancy. So I'll hold this point and I'll decrease the size. I'll increase the size. Sorry. So yes, this much is okay. After this, I'll just do right click on mouse, copy, right click here. I'll do paste. So I have got two shapes one shapes i'll color it white color the first one i'll color it white color and the second one similarly i'll color it uh, blue okay uh, let me go with the red color red color will do more matching so i'll go with the red color shape outline also i'll give us a red so after this i'll make as a border like a border so yes fine okay then save fill this color save out and also i'll give this color i want to place here photo of student or any employee so the photo will come in this round circle inside this i'll give your uh, border as black i will fill up color here you can put any photo here your employee photo or your student photo so putting the photo you have to fill it up here so i'll click on this i'll go to the format tab chef fill this time i'll go with the picture so i'll browse from from file so i'll go to the desktop i have saved some images here so you can even use some save image from your computer so i have saved in the desktop let me I think this is the one. Let me go and check it out. Yeah, I guess this one. Fine, yes, this is my image. So save image. Fine, I want to look, I want to make it more uh, fancy here. I'll go to the insert again. I'll bring it save. I'll be using here a rectangle saves. Uh, I'll color it red color and black border. Right click on this, I'll go to the edit point. So, yes, it looks a little bit fancy. So, I'll copy this, right click on this, copy the shapes, paste the shapes. So, I'll bring it up here a little bit. Yeah, fine. I'll place it over here. yes little bit up fine i want to write here a school name or any company name uh you have to just go to the insert text box from the text group you can take a text box and you can write here uh, your company name or any school name school name let's say i can write any school name as oxford Sorry, MGLI is English school, Oxford English school. I'll control A and then I'll go to the home tab. I'll get some design out here so that it looks a little bit good. I'll go with the, let's say, yes, this is fine. So I want to remove this uh, border from here. I'll just go to the format tab, save outline. I'll give no outline save fill i'll give you no fill so it will remain as transparent i'll do right click on this i'll go to the rep text i'll make it in front of the text 
so yes oxford english school little bit big i want to make it bold i'll increase the size so guys this way you can write the school name even uh, you have got your address also similarly i'll go to the insert tab i'll go to the text text box i'll write here sector 9 sector 9 and h 46 new this remains as the address you can give any address this is just an example purpose i have given here i want to remove the border i just go to the shape outline i'll remove the border as no outline save fill no fill so i'll right click here i'll go to the rep text we'll make it in front of the text so guys i'll make it a little bit small that's font size font size will remain a little bit small fine after this i want to write here some text let's say student name millie smith the student name is millie smith i'll make it bold i'll change the font style times of new roman i want to remove the background color go to the format save fill no fill and save outline also i want to remove the border no outline i want to give here color go to home tab and just give a white color yeah this is the student name <clears throat> just go insert text box bring the text again I write here class 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 8 bold control B I'll go to the home tab I'll give us color as white color so I'll bring it down here I'll go to the save fill the color is not visible here because the background is white so I want to remove the background I have to go to the format tab save fill no fill save outline will be no outline so this is the class and similarly I will go for ID number let's say this is a roll number also ID number let's say 00 1 to 1 1 to 3 and have like other details blood group blood group let's say av and student phone number sorry phone number phone number plus nine one sorry plus nine one you know one two one two one. okay there is a little bit gap out here i'll just fill the gap select all this i'll go to the home tab i'll go for the paragraph groups and then i'll remove the space after paragraph say click on a little bit okay so after this email you can give email also here email simple at the red gmail Dot com. fine this is the email so this way uh, the font page the font site of the id card has been designed similarly you can even uh, create a back site of the id card as well so how to design the back site simple copy right click on this copy the frame and then paste it over here right click here paste so the frame has been paste okay so similarly i'll go to the insert tab i'll go to the shapes 
I'll bring the shapes. I I'll go to the recently used shapes here. So this is the recently used save. Fine. Okay. Okay. Control C, Control V. Otherwise, you can do right click, copy, right click here, paste. So this one I'll give us red color here. Shape fill, red color. Shape outline also I'll give it red color. So I'll put it here like this. Little bit. It's fine. Little bit, I'll adjust it. Yes, fine. And you can, you can even write here. Principal signature. Control A. Control I. Italic. I'll make it small. Control Shift. And then give a smaller sign. So I want to remove the background, shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. I'll bring it down a little bit out here, principal signature and bold. Fine, I want to give top here a signature also. Let me show you how to how to give a signature, how to sign it. I'll open PAINT paint, Microsoft Paint. So in this paint. I'll make it one signature. I'll go to the pencil tool. I can have it here as signature. Fine. This is the signature. I'll copy it. Control A, Control C for copy. And I'll go here, Control V for paste. So wait for a moment. Yes, this is the signature. Right click on this, right tax, and for the tax. I guess small the signature will come out here so guys this way you can even sign it very easily so I want to write here some instruction so for writing the instruction again I have to go to the insert tab text box I'll write here instruction like if this card is lost Please report to the school. School. Okay, you can write your own instructions or anything you want to give it here. Backside, you can write it very easily. So go to the shape fill no fill shape outline there will be no outline uh, i'll go to the sorry i'll go to the home tab i'll change the color as white color so right click on this wrap tax in front of the tax all right here instruction instruction bold control u control e instruction misuse misuse of this card is offense so this way you can put your instruction out here and similarly backside you can put some more details also insert go to the text box and right here date of birth date of birth you can write a 13th may you can give year as any year here Go to the shape fill. I want to remove the background, no fill. Shape outline, I want to remove the border. Bold.
and you can write here father name section a section a number so this way you can even easily create an id card friends this will help you to use the format in school and even for your employee also you can create it very easily in ms Word. this is very simple i uh, hope so friends you like it if you like it please subscribe my channel for more related videos on a microsoft excel and some computer computers videos so thank you for watching guys have a nice day